Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three books and three podcasts that are perfect for people who are brand new to online business. I find that I'm constantly recommending these to people, my clients, my friends, basically anybody who asks me about online business. So I figured I'd make a video about it. I make videos every week about online marketing and working from home. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe below. Number one, the online marketing made easy podcast by Amy Porterfield. If you sell services or you plan to sell services online one day and you eventually picture yourself having a course, then this is the perfect first podcast to listen to. Amy talks about everything from launching your business to webinars, online marketing, social media, copywriting, pretty much everything that you would want to know when you're first starting out. She also does a ton of interviews with people like Marie Forleo and Stu McLaren. And if you haven't heard of them, then definitely look them up. But because she does these interviews, her content is always really, really fresh. There's always something new to learn and she doesn't necessarily have experience with everything in online marketing. So she brings people in who are experts in that area. So if you sell courses or services and you want to learn how to grow your email list and launch with webinars, then this is definitely the podcast for you. The second podcast you can consider checking out is the gold digger podcast by Jenna Kutcher. Jenna talks a lot about building your audience on social media and really authentically engaging with them. Specifically, she talks a lot about Instagram and Pinterest because this is really where she built her audience. So whether you're selling services or digital products or even physical products, this is a great podcast for you to learn about authentic audience building and connecting with people on Instagram as well as Pinterest. She focuses a lot on those two platforms, but she has guests come in that talk about other platforms as well. If you're a new entrepreneur and you mainly picture growing your audience on one of those two platforms, or maybe you sell a digital product, or maybe you're a photographer, then consider checking out the Gold Digger podcast. The third podcast is The She Podcast by Jordan Lee Dooley. This is way more of a personal development podcast, definitely within the context of entrepreneurship for the most part, but it's very much about learning about yourself rather than online marketing specifically. If you're a maker, you have an Etsy store, maybe you're part of an MLM, but you generally identify as somebody who's multi-passionate and maybe you don't even know what you want your business to be. You know you want something of your own, you know you kind of want to be your own boss, but you're quite far from figuring it out. If that's where you are, then this is definitely a really good place to start. Her guests and her episodes are more focused on developing yourself and creating positive habits that will get you the life that you want rather than having that definitely be creating an online business. Okay, so on to books. Audiobooks are definitely easier to fit into your life, but I do still like to get a physical book when I can from time to time, but for the most part, I go with the audiobook. Two of these three books are actually only available in paper, but the last one is available in an audiobook. So this first book is something that I put off reading for a really long time. I was about a year into my online business when I first read it, and I just sat there and thought, why did I take so long to read this? So no matter where you are in your journey, read this book. So many people told me to read this book and I didn't read this book, so read this book. The first book is Dot Com Secrets by Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson owns a company called ClickFunnels. It's a company that makes landing pages that essentially help you build funnels, something that you used to have to pay someone thousands of dollars to do and now you can do it yourself. That's actually a big part of my business is building funnels for my clients, so I use ClickFunnels all day long, which is why I'm really embarrassed that it took me so long to read this book. So this book goes really deep into building sales funnels and attracting your ideal customer online. A ton happens in this book, but my biggest takeaway and what I want you to know that it teaches you is that you walk away understanding what your customer's journey is. And that when somebody first comes into contact with you, they're not ready to buy. They're especially not ready to buy your super expensive service or product. And so this book explains to you how to build out your products in a way that makes sense and then attract people 
to your products and guide them through your products in the right way. This book goes into great detail about that and that was definitely the biggest takeaway for me because up until that point I understood what that process looked like but the way he explains it and all the little pictures that he draws in the book are super super helpful in putting it all together. I actually looked at my business completely differently after this and then I would see other people online launching products and I would think oh I kind of know where that goes in their business. So this is definitely the first book you should read when you're starting your online business. The reason it's so important is because if you can build your own sales funnels you're gonna save yourself thousands of dollars. If you have to pay somebody else to do it, it's gonna be really expensive. And when you're first starting out, you probably can't even afford that. So reading this book and then learning how to actually build funnels yourself is a really valuable thing to know, especially when you're first starting out. If you want me to make a video on how exactly to build a funnel in ClickFunnels, then let me know in the comments below and I'll make one of those in the next couple of weeks. The next book is called Expert Secrets and it is by the same person. Russell Brunson writes another book called Expert Secrets and I probably should have mentioned this one before the other one because this one's actually a really good fit for people who don't actually know what their thing is yet. They're still trying to figure out what they want to do online and they really feel like they're not an expert in anything. And the reason that I love this book is because it walks you through how to identify what your thing is or what you're passionate about and then become an expert in that. And it shows you different ways that you can become an expert. And so I won't talk about them in this video because you can read it in the book, but basically no matter how much experience you have in something, you can be become an expert in the thing that you're really interested in. So that's why I love this book because it really levels the playing field and shows you that because of the internet and all of the information that you can get for free, as well as online courses that you can get, you can really shape your own future and have whatever you want in terms of your career so long as you figure out what you're interested in and then put in the effort to become an expert in that area. If you still don't know what your thing is, then definitely consider reading Expert Secrets. The last book, but certainly not least, is called You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. This is a personal development book that basically teaches you how to coach yourself. Being able to coach yourself is probably one of the most important skills that you can have as an entrepreneur. There are going to be tons of ups and downs and often when you're struggling, it's you that's getting in your own way. So this book talks about how when we're getting in our own way, it's because of our own limiting beliefs that we have about ourselves. And this book helps you become aware of those limits that you put on yourself. It also gives you a process and a set of questions that you can ask yourself so that you can break down those limiting beliefs and essentially level up in your life and in your business. I love this book because it's super practical and super funny. She basically talks about her own personal growth journey and tells stories through her own experiences and it's really entertaining. She also does it in a way that makes you think, if she can do it, I can do it, which is probably my favorite part about the book. Whether or not you think you need a personal development book, I would highly recommend you get this one and just try it out. I really do think there's something in it for everyone. So those are the six resources that I would recommend to anybody who's either brand new online or thinking about starting an online business. These books and podcasts really helped me see my business differently and helped me up level in my life and in my business. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to stay and subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will see you guys all in next week's video.